Another favorite April Fool's puzzle was um, that it was actually set up for two days. Uh, it was March 31 and April 1. The same puzzle maker made both puzzles. Uh, the pattern of black squares both days was the same. There were three visual clues in the puzzle that were the same, and the first four across clues were the same. Otherwise, the puzzles were completely different. The solutions were completely different. But you look at the puzzle on April 1, and it looks like we have mistakenly repeated yesterday's puzzle. So my phone starts ringing at the times from people make complaining, and I was able to say, aha, April Fool's. <laughs> One of the most, probably the most publicity we ever got from a New York Times crossword was a marriage proposal. And it worked like this, uh, happened like this in the fall of 1997. A young lawyer in Manhattan left a message on my answering machine at the Times saying that his girlfriend, Emily, was crazy about the Times crossword, did it every day, and could he propose to her through the puzzle? And my first thought was, no. This is a crossword that millions of people do. I can't put a message for you from you into the puzzle for Emily. And then I thought about it and thought there might be a way to do this. So I talked with a, one of the regular Times contributors. I gave him a theme. One of the answers was a modest proposal, which was a title of a Jonathan Swift pamphlet from 1726. Across the middle of the diagram, was this diamond ring, which was a Gary Lewis and the Playboys hit in the 60s. And uh, toward the bottom of the grid was Will You Marry Me, which was a Paula Abdul hit from the 1990s. So we put those three answers in the grid. He also put uh, the guy's name, Bill, and included in terms of Bill Gates. Uh, he also put Emily, as in Emily Dickinson, the poet. And at the very bottom of the grid, he had the answer, yes. And the clue for that was, hope for answer to 56 across, which was, will you marry me? So, uh, we arranged the, the day the, the, the day that this puzzle will appear in the paper. Bill takes the day off from work. Uh, he called me later in the day to explain what happened. He hadn't slept all night. He was so worried what was gonna happen. They go to their favorite brunch place in Manhattan. They pick up the New York Times on the way. Uh, they sit across from each other on the table, and as is her custom, Emily turns immediately to the crossword. Bill is pretending to read the front page, but he really has his eye on her. So Emily's solving along, and she sees the marriage proposal theme, and she says, oh look, your name's in this puzzle. She gets down to the bottom and said, my name's in this puzzle. She's afraid to say anything in case it's all a coincidence. <laughs> and finally, she just looks at Bill and said, this puzzle, this puzzle. And he asked, will you marry me? And she said, yes. <laughs>